10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And a lift off the Falcon 9, go USS F-62, go SpaceX. Equals, could you down range? Stage 1 chamber pressure nominal. Plus 40 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 on its way with U.S. Space Force 62. Good call outs there, power and telemetry nominal. Propulsion is nominal. We're into the throttle bucket. We're throttling down the nine Merlin engines. We prepare for the period of maximum dynamic stress coming up in about 10 Falcon seconds. Supersonic. Faster than a speeding bullet, we've gone supersonic. Max Q. Max Q call out. We're through the period of maximum stress on the vehicle. We have throttled the Merlin engines back up to full power. Now coming up, we're going to have four events. We're going to get main engine cut off. All nine Merlins will shut off. We'll then get stage separation where the first stage pushes itself away from the second stage. And then the second stage engine will start a few seconds later. A Merlin vacuum engine on stage two will ignite, and that'll boost the payload into low Earth orbit. But we will then have a same time, the boost back burn start. Falcon 9's first stage is gonna ignite three engines, orient itself, and start to head back to land on land, right back at Vandenberg next to where it lifted off. Coming up on main engine, main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. You've seen it, the first stage heading away under the power of its three engines. The second stage vacuum engine is lit for second stage engine start one. A nice view there of the Vandenberg coastline. Even a little bit of the white contrail visible from where we left Earth on Slick 4 East. Now the first stage boost back continuing. That'll go for another half a minute. We're coming up on fairing deployment next. Fairing separation confirmed. We've got call out that the fairing has successfully separated. You're looking right now a view. The first stage continues under the power of three Merlin engines. It'll continue to rise towards Apogee before descending back down towards the uh, landing zone at Vandenberg. Second stage, meanwhile, in the middle of its six minute burn on its way into the parking orbit. Stage one, boost back shut down. All right, we've had a successful boost back burn. We've shut down the three engines. The stage nitrogen thrusters now beginning to reorient the first stage. And the flight computer has commanded the large titanium grid fins to slowly begin deploying now that the boost back burn is over. So right now we've had a great launch. First stage uh, has done its job so far. It's on the way back. Second stage is running at full power. We're getting great views from space. And we're getting ready now for first stage to come back to landing zone. Atticus, why don't you take us through the sequence of events we've got coming up. Thanks, John. You are watching a live webcast for USSF 62. We are delivering a payload that is part of Space-Based Environmental Monitoring, SBEM system, which works with civil and international partners to achieve their mission of delivering environmental and tactical intelligence to warfighters. Today we will be attempting to recover the Falcon 9 back on land at landing zone 4. And in just a few minutes, the booster will execute an entry burn. And following that will be the landing burn. 
both burns are meant to slow the booster down rapidly just before landing. And if we do have a successful landing today, that will mark the 279th landing of a Falcon 9 booster. And again, as I mentioned, in order to make its way back to land, Falcon 9 does have two more burns to execute. The next one coming up is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will reignite. And this just helps to slow the, view, the stage down as it re-enters the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And then the final burn for the first stage is the landing burn, and that's a single engine burn, which will bring the vehicle speed down very rapidly in order to softly touch down back on Earth. Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins positioned near the top of the first stage. And during this portion of flight, stage one is using nothing but the grid fins for steering as it returns to Earth. And these grid fins orient the rocket during re-entry and they help to guide the rocket during its descent. Now currently we are seeing a view of the second stage, but occasionally you will see on the first stage nitrogen gas bursts for attitude control, which you can see there now on the left side of your screen. And these are basically used to position the vehicle as it heads back towards land. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's confirmation we have just lit three of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. You can see now we are rapidly slowing the vehicle down as it enters the Earth's atmosphere. And this burn should last just around 20 seconds. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And there we go, there's confirmation of shutdown of the entry burn on the first stage. The Falcon 9 first stage is also equipped with four landing legs, and those are made out of state-of-the-art carbon fiber with an aluminum honeycomb. And they are placed symmetrically around the base of the rocket, and they will deploy just stage prior... Stage 1 FTS has saved. Those legs will deploy just prior to landing. Speaking of landing, we are just about 60 seconds away from that. We are traveling over 2,000 kilometers per hour, this really puts into perspective the deceleration. In the span of just less than a minute, we will have reduced from twice the speed of a jet all the way down stage to zero. One, transonic. You just heard that call out. Stage one is now traveling slower than the speed of sound as it heads towards land. We can see the California coast just below there on the left side of your screen, heading back towards stage landing zone four. One, landing burn. There you go, wow, great tracking shot of that landing burn. You can see that center E9 engine has now lit. We are slowing the vehicle down very rapidly. Should be seeing those landing legs deploy any second now. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing confirmed. And there you have it. We have successfully made the 279th landing of an orbital class rocket. Stage 2 FTS is saved. Coming up next, we will have the second stage engine cutoff, or SECO-1. And following that, we will enter into just about a 40-minute coast phase as the vehicle ascends to its target orbit. On your screen now is a live view of the MVAC engine continuing its burn. MVAC shutdown. And there we go. Just had confirmation of MVAC shutdown. So with that, we are going to head into the coast phase. 